Hi, my name's Kat you and you're watching Cat Rose Astrology. And today I've got another astrologer on the show, Cam White. Um, I'm sure most of you are already familiar with his work. Um, I invited Cam on the show because um, I recently saw a video that Cam put out on his YouTube channel uh, all about the these new restrictions that are coming into place with a lot of different social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, and it, it kind of bothered me uh, from many different levels. And I thought, let's get Cam on to talk about this in more depth. So Cam, hello. Thanks for coming on the show. Hi. Thanks, Kat. I appreciate <laughs> you uh, inviting me to be on here. So do you want to start by just explaining what the issue is that you've um, you've come up against? <laughs> So pretty much what's happening is um, Meta uh, is updating their terms of service when it comes to targeted ads, and they are limiting where you could target ads. And some of that includes uh, tarot and astrology and horoscope. Um, and uh, originally, this started from a Instagram reel I saw of some uh, girl, I think her name was like Cosmic drugs or something like that uh who was pretty much like oh you know like uh instagram and tiktok and facebook are getting ready to ban uh astrology and tarot and she showed you know um i think some of her her back end of how the tarot and astrology and horoscope were you know muted and that these targeted ad words were going to stop being put into place starting march 17th mm -hmm. um so uh, I made a video about it because I and so I made two videos about it. I made one video about it just kind of going over that reel that I uh, initially saw. I wanted to create a lot more uh, awareness around it. And then I kind of talked about what this kind of means and what it's going to end up turning into into the future. And so at the time, I couldn't necessarily find the specific terms of service of where this was coming up, but a few people had sent it to me. And uh, it turns out what's going on is, again, this started actually back on January 19th, but if like, let's say you did an ad, uh, an ad campaign um, sometime between like, uh, I think like December or January, those, and if you use astrology, tarot, and a couple other different things, um, if you use those as your uh, targeted ad words, that they will extend that till March 17th. And then that's when that fully ends. Okay. So it's interesting because, I mean, I come from um, a background in like web design, social media, and I, I get that targeted ads are annoying we don't like them and we don't like um yeah like our private um data being shared but at the same time um just because these targeted ads are getting stopped so you know it's going to be affecting astrologers tarot readers and some other categories that i think you sh you shared on the the terms these new terms of service but that doesn't mean like targeted ads won't stop we're still going to be getting ads they're just serving um different categories and the category that I think that we obviously care about like the, the astrology tarot stuff the fact that that's getting targeted at all is something um it, it, the fact that it's kind of being uh, like villainized in any way that's something worth like it's bringing to people's attention it's in in my opinion it's deeply concerning now some people will argue in that it's not a big deal at all and apparently I've, I've been brought to attention that there's a whole group of people online that are like actually for this and I think this is good and that it's not a big deal at all, which boggles my mind. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the thing, this wouldn't be that big of a deal if we weren't already expect, if we weren't already having a few issues. Right. And that one is all of these, these, these scam uh, accounts on Instagram. We're seeing um, more and more, I mean, like every astrologer I know that is a professional and that is big. Like we're not just talking like small people, I'm talking mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of followers who are having huge problems with their Instagram accounts uh, getting viewed, getting picked up in the algorithm because you know there's all these scam bots that are uh, impersonating them. And while nothing is being done about that, uh, every account I know, like n all I know is that it's getting worse. Nothing is being done about that. At the same time, they implement this um, targeted ad thing, right? And it's and again, this is the difference difference between Instagram and Facebook or Meta, whatever you want to call it. But it's all under the it's it's all the same shit. Um, but the other thing is, and I was talking to S. J. Anderson about this, and he brought up this really good point because when you look at this terms of service update about targeted ads, it says again, you know, this isn't about uh, it's same thing with um ethnicity, um mm -hmm. weight. The the big thing that they that S. J. brought up was for some reason. Tarot and astrology are being lumped into the same group as um, health and politics. Right. And so they're stop, uh, They're limiting targeted ads regarding health and politics. But the question is, why is astrology being brought into that too? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now, religion is also a part of this uh, on that. And, and I did a second video where we read, where we read over the whole thing. And um, it, it pretty much says like, this is also for, you know, religious minorities and things like that. And there's a part of me that says like, okay, I, I understand this. I agree with this. Like, again, I'm also all about privacy and targeted ads are annoying, but why is astrology and t- like, what does tarot and astrology have to do with any of that stuff with health and politics? Now, again, that's a little bit different since those are also things that are being all, and this is why, and I brought this up a year ago in one of my podcasts, but this is why I made such a like panic video about this is I really truly believe this tarot and astrology stuff is, you know, one step away from just being labeled misinformation as anything else. And this is building up that argument for that. And yeah. that's where, where, again, you know, uh, I don't necessarily, and this, and in my videos, I kind of go like, is, is this a bad thing? Am I, am I overreacting to this? But, but the question is, why is tarot and astrology being lumped in with things like politics and health when it comes to targeted ad campaigns? And again, who does that hurt and who does that protect? I think that's the real question to ask here. And I think a lot of people are under this automatic assumption still, for whatever reason, that big tech companies are on our side when right now, today, there are people that can get like you can die and literally be persecuted for practicing some of this stuff. And it wasn't even that long ago where a lot of this stuff was illegal. Like even here in Las Vegas, when I had to be an astrologer here, I have to have, I had to spend $2,000 to get a psychic arts license here in the city of Las Vegas. I had to go through an FBI background check. I had to get a, a Metro, a, a Metro police background check. I had to do the whole works. And people think that we have this absolute freedom with this stuff. And that's just not true. And why I got, why I decided to make this video and bring attention to this is no one's talking about this in this community. It is everyone's being affected by this Instagram thing. And it seems as if no one cares or if no one is, is just talking about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Oh, it, hold on one second. You all right? Say that one more time. Um, no, I, I was just, yeah. Going back to the, to the, the fake accounts. Um, if people aren't aware of that, like that's a big thing. People have lost money because they're getting scammed by people pretending to be their favorite astrologers. Um, so it's not just like an annoying thing. Oh, they've taken my, uh, it, it, they're using a username really similar to mine. No, they're like, they're properly scamming people. And Oh, totally. Um, I, I got scammed the other day because it was one of my friends who doesn't even have that big of a following. And I was like, <laughs> and it was something like, oh, hey, I'm in a, um, I'm in a competition. Can you vote for me? And I was kind of like, that's a little out of the blue, but like, yeah, like you're my friend and I, and it's like, holy shit, they're getting so like, these are like, I, I, I haven't been scammed in a long time. I've been on, you know, the internet for a really long time. And so I was just surprised how deep it's getting. And is that happening in other industries? Do you know, it's, it's are like beauty bloggers getting scammed like this. Is it just. I don't, I don't know about the beauty bloggers, but the two, I mean, for Jordan one, it's se- sex workers for sure. That's oh. been happening. Number one, a lot of people brought that to my, cause they were like, yeah, sex workers have been doing this forever online, which makes sense. But the other one that I see a lot of is, um, uh, Bitcoin dudes yes. and, uh, economics people. They have tons of scammer people on them. And I don't know if they're underneath the same, I, there's kind of this shared reality that we have with them, but I don't know if it's under the same circumstances of like, if it's just this bot thing. Cause like, I think for us, it's a little, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how far it goes with it, but I do know that they're dealing with the, the same bot and the scam problem. Yeah. Cause just cause it's, it's interesting to me. Um, like, you know, is this an organized thing? Why is it so many astrologers? And I'm honestly, I'm looking at accounts that are, like you said, both big, very, very big and very, very small. That, that are being affected. Um, so, so my argument is like, is this something, who, who's doing this? Like, is it just a coincidence well, that it's all of our well, like, astrology friends? I- well, this is what's, um, this is where I see it. This is where I see it. I, I saw a lot of arguments on Twitter about how, what I was saying and bringing awareness to this is, I, like I'm just delusional and that it's fine and that they're doing this to weed out the scammers. But what people don't understand is they're under this, in my opinion, a delusion that they think that they're not seeing all of big tech, all of politics, and even most of society right now sees all, it doesn't matter who you are. If you practice tarot and astrology, they see you as a snake oil salesman. Yes. And you don't, you do not have to prove shit to anybody. That's the number one thing. This is our fucking practice. This is our fucking thing. But because there is already this, like people are like, oh, they're just going to weed out the actual scammers. It's actually a good thing. It's like, what's the difference between you and a scammer in their eyes? And I don't know. 
I, and that's not how it works. The scammers will still exist just because you're taking still, targeted ads. Like, the, well, again, this is who does this hurt? Well, again, well, again, well, this is the thing. If the targeted ads are to protect individuals, I also think that's just a lie because people think, oh, this is to protect individuals. This is Facebook we're talking about. Mm -hmm. They will sell your data to Al Qaeda if they probably they probably do. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised because well, this all data harvesting. And well, this is the other thing. And this is kind of, I think, a future conversation to have in astrology. Maybe it's not timely right now, but I'm trying to think ahead of, you know, what is astrology? It's in our birth charts, right? It's our data. Mm. And I, I think being really uh, paying attention to what is our data and what we share is important. Um, but again, when you talk about targeted ads, okay, if that's to protect people's you know, data, like, again, I understand parts of that, but who is this harming? Who is this protecting and who is this harming, right? Um, and if Facebook really wanted to protect people, I mean, do we have, do I right. even have to list exactly. off things that they could do other besides, you know, take away. Mm -hmm. And again, who is this benefiting? Who is this uplifting? And who is this harming? Cause I don't necessarily think, and now I'm drawing the connection between the scam, the scam accounts and these new terms of service, right? Mm -hmm. They're not saying, Oh, we're doing this because of this, mm -hmm. but they're not doing anything because of the scam robots, but they are limiting targeted ads. So my question is, they don't, they seem to be taking care of the targeted ad thing, but not the scammer thing. So again, why wouldn't these, in my opinion, it just looks like they're setting things up to, and this is why I made, um, you know, I, I made the title I did, like they're getting ready to ban this stuff because, yeah. like, well, people think that it's, that it's not going that way, but it's in this age of censorship, which is happening. And also it's astrology is, it's has been censored through for thousands of years from the church to countries to governments and all sorts of stuff so it's like why wouldn't this be on that next step and i think it's i, I i'm just mind boggled how many people are like straight up like i saw this one thread of this one girl being like kind of arguing like saying like oh this isn't right and this is blah 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 blah, blah. but then at the very end she kind of just pretty much agreed with all of my sentiments of like yeah right. we should actually worry about this and yeah maybe we shouldn't be like it's like what it, well, whatever helps people sleep at night because it is fucking scary if you think about what this could imply long term no well well and this is the thing a lot of people have gotten into it astrology and this is um you know the, uh, people have gotten to astrology for fun and games and that's really good but people don't understand that this is real life. Like I saw a tweet um, a while ago and it was someone sharing their concerns of like, oh, I've heard about the American Pluto return and that the economy is going to fall and all this bad stuff. And they were like, should I be scared? Should I be worried? And people were like, this is fear mongering and blah, 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 blah. And it, it, this is the thing with this stuff, guys. If you're like afraid to look into the future and if you're afraid to look into this, like this is not the, the right hobby for you. But I look at this kind of, you know, practicing this type of stuff is it, this is real life. Like this is not a joke. People like and governments and corporations, too, will try to take that type of stuff away from you, especially when it has power. Right. Look how much, you know, power it's uh, attracting right now. I, I just don't necessarily see this going I, I think it's terrifying. And I think a lot of people who have been really comfy in this in this field, and especially, and again, this is all related to social media mostly. If you've been really comfortable in this field of social media, this is a reality check of this is still like, you know, a scrutinized practice. And there is going to be a level of underground that we're going to have to do. And the reason I wanted to do, I, I made these videos too, is I, all I've seen is hostility in these, specifically the astrology community. All I've seen is hostility and us attacking one another, which is just creating vulnerability. So when, for example, it may not be this, maybe this isn't a big deal, but let's say that next step, that next step, and we're already divided as we are, that could take away everything, right? And, and if we don't have any type of, you know, like, I, I hate to say, it, but like unionization or collaboration or literally like in-person events or like trying to, you know, put aside our differences and focus on the fact that we're all these practitioners, that we all have these literal first amendment rights, um, that we should be able to do this stuff. And again, sure. Right now it's the targeted ads. And again, there's a lot of me that goes, okay, that's, that's fine. But the question is why the question is what's next. The question is, you know, wh where does it, where does it go from here? And again, what we see with these social media platforms is they set the precedent. We're literally seeing like presidents and leaders of nations, copying and mimicking what social media platforms normalize right so so it's just it's it's fucking it's straight up fucking terrifying and it's a reality check and i think people who think that this is all fun and games okay go go to saudi arabia and practice astrology tell them that you're an astrologer in saudi arabia tell them you're an astrologer uh, uh, in any authoritarian government, it, 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 like this is, it, we thank God we have the freedom to practice stuff nowadays, but this is real life. You know what I mean? And, and 
again, maybe this isn't a big deal, but if we don't bring this, uh, if we're not paying attention now, by the time we do start paying attention, it might be too late. Yeah. And the, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you is because I want to have, I think one of the first steps, um, you know, what, what should we do is to have conversations with your fellow astrologers about this, this exact conversation that we're having. And also don't just like fear monger necessarily, but start talking about like things that we can do. And I, I do want to get to that. But before we do, um, I, I just wanted to sort of talk about and really get to the the why the potential whys of 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 this is happening of why this is happening, and if this had happened maybe two two three years ago, um, I wouldn't maybe be reacting in the way that I am. Me but, me but, either <laughs> me either. But what I'm seeing now, and this is before I saw your video, um, I've been like people have shared with me uh, articles, certain media outlets that are kind of lumping in. Um, Let's say astrology is in, like, you could call it the new age camp or the, the woo, the, the even like wellness. Like there's a certain um, umbrella of interests that astrology gets, you know, a- attached to. And, you know, I'm seeing articles like, I, what was one of the ones, I think I sent you something, how the wellness community fell prey to conspiracies, stuff like yeah, this, where you're basically seeing... Um, you know, everything from really, really out there conspiracy theories to basically what I would call people who are skeptical about the mainstream narrative, right? Which, as mm-hmm. far as I know, isn't a crime and it shouldn't be a crime. And we're all kind of getting lumped into this thing of like, well, if you don't agree with the approved, um, you, you know, narrative, you are now this kind of, um, what did, you said it was like a, a misinformation uh, well, there's I, I won't name names, but people have accused me and have thrown up of like, oh, because I disagree with the mainstream narrative that I am an alarmist misinformation, which I think is um, a terrible read of the situation and really not <laughs> present in the reality. Um, but again, there's people that are more concerned about attacking other astrologers in the astrology community than they are about helping other people. And it says more about them than it does about, you know, anything else. So unfortunately, though, we are in this narrative again it's it's the why and we have this thing of like again three years ago i'd be like okay maybe that is a good thing um but it's just different now where we're slowly getting into you know well this is what's super funny is the people being like oh like you know good we should kick people off platforms and we should silence other people and cancel other people because of let's say you know for example on astrology twitter people love throwing the word neo-Nazi and white supremacists around like there's no tomorrow. Well, it's one of these things of like, in the if we zoom out in the bigger societal thing is like, we're more lumped in with those people than not, to be honest with you. Like, like, like more, there are, there are a lot of conspiracy theory people queuing on people that practice astrology. There's also a lot of, you know, super antifa left-wing people that practice this type of stuff, right? Um, but the thing is, when you have a, when you already have astrology, it's super unpopular right now. Give it like, there's an article that comes out every year about just bashing astrology. Mm-hmm. When you give them this kind of fuel of like, again, like, you know, oh, how the, you know, spiritual community, you know, got bought up by the far right wing stuff. And what's, this is such a, such, this, this is such a bigger conversation on that one. Cause I saw that article and it's, cause the thing is, What's frustrating is the same people that will attack conspiracy theorists, the same reason those people go to conspiracy theories is the same reason people go to astrology. Because the fucking church or the fucking mainstream shit didn't answer their questions, they knew something was more. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous for people to say like, oh, you shouldn't, you like, you know, this is a conversation I was having with some astrologers, like the, a lot of like the, the, the scientism argument doesn't necessarily is not harmonious with astrology, right? You can't be like, oh, we have to live off fact and proof off everything. And you can only live by whatever this mainstream is because that goes, that's literally antithetical to astrology. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those things where I think when it comes to the, like, I think that's what astrology is, right? Like we're all, most people here, I don't, I don't share a goddamn thing with anybody in common in this community, except for astrology. Like I live, I have a completely different background than pretty much everyone I know. And I think a lot of people maybe share that same sentiment. Mm-hmm. We come here because a lot of this, we, we've questioned a lot of this stuff and this is where we have found answers. And um, I mean, we believe in this stuff, right? It's, 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 it rings true. Mm-hmm. I think this idea that Oh, like, again, this is what's really frustrating about other astrologers, even using the term misinformation to label other astrologers, like you're, 
who you whose side are you on here um who like you're you're helping fueling the fire against things like astrology because unfortunately like yes um there is a lot of bullshit information but instead of you know I, i'm on the camp of personal responsibility of how about you use your brain and you figure it out for yourself and do you listen to everybody that tells you what to do I, you know, I, that's the kind of sentiment I come from. And I know not everyone agrees with that. And everyone thinks that more people should be more responsible for everyone's thoughts and feelings. But as someone with a big following, I can't be responsible for every single opinion that 20,000 people have on a, you know, on some comment, I say on a slide thing. And it's about personal, I, again, well, when it comes to astrology and it comes to tarot, we are learning the difference between what is our fate and what is our free will. And we have to acknowledge we have that free will and we have to exercise it. And this is, well, it comes back again to, that article that you shared of, um, oh, how the spiritual community placates to this right wing stuff. It's like, it's not, it's not, it's, that's one way you could frame it. I would also look at it I'm like, I don't know if you've been on Twitter, but you could also say that a lot of the astrology community placates to this extreme leftism stuff, yeah. because uh, there's a whole activist group that like straight up takes it to extremes, um, ex super extremes on that side. So uh, we have to, uh, uh, again, Bad information is going to be out there, but I think it's up to us to be better about, um, for one, what we do. Um, I think it's better about putting the responsibility on the reader because, again, unfortunately, we've all been bad astrologers, right? Um, I think a lot about how the Hellenistic uh, astrology has risen up, and I think without that, we a lot of astrologers, you know, were built off the psychological 90s model and it worked but when we started doing the hellenist like you know it's like you could do that it's like well is that misinformation a lot of the like pluto rule scorpio is that misinformation is uh you know because according to these texts and according to the fact checkers according to history it's not so well it's just one of those things in astrology in in in, in the art of interpretation you have to be like there's going to be opinions this way there's going to be opinions that way and we can't say what's information what's misinformation or not and i think also this what's important about that is that's placating into the us versus them narrative, which is Saturn and Aquarius. I don't see a lot of astrologers talking like Saturn and Aquarius is the us versus them narrative. And you can't placate into that because guess what? We're them. Like as much as you want it, like a lot of people think like, oh, I'm on the good people side because I have these certain beliefs, even though I'm in astrology. It's like, guess what? You're an astrologer. Like you, you do tarot. You're not you're like, you are not them. You are, you are us. You are against that and they and they will make you an enemy they will like they they do it all the time and it's just a matter of time until we're the crazy conspiracy theorists because we believe in astrology and that we believe in pedal misinformation and it's dangerous misinformation because people's lives are guided on this it's such a and this is again why i said it's a slippery slope we're already playing we're already playing with fire we're already fucking doing astrology and it's working really well and it's changing the world i don't like Five years ago, my clients were like psychic witches. And now half of my clients are working class. Mm -hmm. I had like a plumber, a firefighter, a nurse. These are regular people. Like, this is a big deal. And so I think people just thinking like, oh, you know, let's just placate into this stuff. It's like, no, we're underground. Astrology has always been underground mm -hmm. since the sign. Uh, well, I mean, we can go back even farther. Um, but this is just, it's, it's, again, this is just the first step. And maybe this isn't a big deal, but again, what's next? And if we're not having this conversation like we are right now, like by those times, those other steps get implemented because they will like Al Gore's free internet's not going to be around here much, much longer. There's going to be more and more controls over it and more and more profit incentive. And, you know, now you ask one of these questions of what's the future of all of this stuff. And that's the Pluto and Aquarius. It's either, you know, you're on the inside, you're on the outside. And I don't think, I think you know, this isn't like the fear monger either. I think there's a two way street with it. There's going to be astrology that's inside the inner circle and that's going to be approved by the mainstream narrative. And then there's going to be stuff that's not. And I think you have to be aware of both ends, right? Because a lot of your favorite people, they're going to be like, again, those algorithms work against you. And a lot of people will also be like, well, it's a private company. They're allowed to do whatever they want. It's like, well, in this day and age where this is where we all go to share ideas. And if they can lock us down to where those are the new public platforms like if they could lock down the actual public and the only way to be public is on a platform like that that is a taking away your first minute right that's not a that's not a private company at that point um especially if it's government mandated of like you can't go out and do things outside and we've already seen that that's good that they can do that and i'm not saying that that's going to happen again 
but they typically do things again. You know, um, it's uh, as an American, I mean, we've been gaslit for the past 40 fucking years of, you know, wars and, you know, weapons of mass destruction and this and this and that. It's like, it's all a fucking lie. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, I, I just, I, that one article you sent me, it's, it's frustrating because there is a big part of the spiritual community that is super right wing conspiracy theorists. But guess what? That's like the same right that protects us from doing astrology protects them for doing that. And we got to We're going to have to fucking accept it, huh? I think that's the ultimate choice here. And we're just going to have to get over that one. We well, bring up a really good point because I was asking you that not even thinking about the divides within the astrology community, because I'm so far, I'm not part of the community i don't see myself as being part of it um but i feel like as you said like if if we're divided within the community what what, what chance does astrology stand um to kind of surviving whatever it's going through which is both this weird like meteoric rise that we've seen at least i've seen in the time that i've gotten into astrology but now um because the times that we're in and this kind of increasing Saturnian lockdown on anything that isn't this mainstream narrative. I mean, and, and like you said, astrology has been censored many times before. I was reading um, you know, Jeffrey Cornelius's Moment of Astrology, where he talks about Alan Leo and how, you know, he kind of got charged in 1917 with fortune telling. And like that was, you know, you couldn't do fortune telling. That was wrong in Britain in uh, the early 20th century. So that's when Leo devised a more like psych psychological based astrology, right? Because that wasn't fortune telling. And here we are now kind of reclaiming fortune telling effectively. Um, but it's just interesting to me that astrology has gone through all these um, phases, then it had to adapt. And I'm curious, like, what would it look like? Does that mean that astrology will need to adapt I again? Yes, it's well, astrology has always adapted. You have to think, I, I think a lot about um, my favorite astrological period of history is the uh, the Umayyad Caliphate with um, uh, uh, Al, uh, Al Bishr or Sal Bishr, uh, I, Masha Allah, um, because they were doing it for the caliphate. Like if they were wrong, they were murdered. They were, and the, you know what type of astrology they did? They weren't doing no bullshit horoscopes. They were like, are we going to conquer this land here today? Who, how many will die in this battle today? And they had to be fucking right. And they were right for like, and they had to grow and adapt to that type of, you know, questioning. They didn't have, like, they didn't have ancient texts to rely on. They had to figure that shit out for themselves. Um, now, of course, we have to hold a lot of this stuff with a grain of salt because how much, you know, was, you know, their own propaganda, their own bullshit. But I think, well, again, what I, and this is, I've been preaching this message for a long time. Like a lot of people want to be astrologers and I think people should, but bring, bring your other, you are also good at other things and we need other things too. We need, like, we need organizers. We need leaders. We need people that know how to do shit. Um, because I think that's where, I mean, we have all of these people are into astrology. I think we have more people into astrology now more than ever. Um, and I, this is something I've talked about in my horoscope. Like the, these challenges are what sparks creative uh change and this is what and this is and i think this is the good kind of pressure that we need to do something uh what what does the future look like i think a lot of it needs to be in person off grid um i think a lot of it needs to turn local and communal um more on a sense of like again this is already an isolating practice and this world only wants you to be more and more isolated we need to bring more and more people together and this is also why again i like this astrology this is why i got off twitter right like um, i i got super canceled on twitter a bunch of times but the reason i got off twitter is the whole platform is designed to attack one another that doesn't spark that doesn't spark joy that doesn't no. spark community I mean, there's no people are like there. it's just divisive as far as i understand it's just divi well and that's the business model and this is the thing I, i've been trying to tell other people it's like being on a, being on twitter is a liability as a business because the whole like the whole incentive is to like you know be the like uh, is to be divisive so it's just a matter of time until you're the problem until you're it and it makes it popular and cool and a lot of people are like we need to have a conversation on twitter you can't have a conversation with 280 characters that's the trap that they get you into and again unfortunately like and this is what's really frustrating about it because the thing is it is social media that's doing this like a lot of the infighting that goes on in this community is stoked by social media because most of these people are great people in person they would never say this shit in real life or act this way in real life for the most part um but but social media creates this environment where it does that. 
So I think a lot of this is we, I, I think where the future is we, and this is like, I truly, I'm still figuring this out, right? Like I have a business on social media and I think there's no right or wrong answers. I'm exploring all, all alternatives, but I think there needs to be a better relationship between how we use social media and also how do we use the in real life stuff? Because I think if a lot of people's, all of their chips on are on the social media stuff and that's not good. Um, and I also think too, that just using it in the way that we have, isn't going to work. We need to do more I don't know, real life stuff, more in-person stuff, more, I don't know, uh, for, well, for example, when you said psycho uh, psychological astrology, where I think the future is, is right. So right now, the astrology people, we've, we've already had astrology people, astrology pilled for a while. Then uh, the LGBTQ community came in and got astrology pilled. And they're the big reason why astrology is really blown up, by the way, um, which is, well, this is what's really frustrating when you, when they, when they are, doing this targeting ad things. It's, it's a lot of these minority voices that are going to get the worst of it at the end of the day, mm -hmm. like the LGBTQ community and the minority people of color communities. Yeah, They've got into way, this all shit. Of those, these like LGBTQ, like all of that, those keywords are gone as well, by the way. So yes, exactly. And so, and so they harm, like, again, the minority groups get hurt the most with the censorship all, all the time with any type of big government legislation or big corporation legislation. It's always the bottom people that get hurt the most. But um, the, now the people who are getting astrology pilled right now um are bitcoin people mm. they've already been they've already been astrology pilled for a minute um we've got them listening the other people that have been astrology pilled are now th uh, therapists they're listening oh nurses are astrology pilled now because during the whole vaccine mandate they were I, I pretty much for two months all of my clients were nurses i thought that was absolutely wild and it was because both the, a lot of them were losing it because of the work and also they didn't want to lose their jobs but anyway people are getting astrology pilled as fuck right now and I think where the future of it's going to go is health and wellness, psychology, for example, and therapy. That is the future. That is the safety net of this practice, in my opinion. That is where we're going to have the most. Uh, well, again, I, I think an, another group that I think is slowly going to start getting towards astrology is the, I don't know if you've heard of the biohacking people. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I, like people like red light therapy. I've been doing like carnivore. There's all types of shit that people do. Like they like sun, sunlight on their buttholes type shit. They're going to start finding astrology and they're going to get into it. Well, and I, and I think, especially too, I have a lot of clients that are therapists and that are, you know, psychologists and they implement this stuff in their practice and they fucking talk about getting better results with their, than, you know, their four-year degree. So it's, it's just, I think we're, I, I'm, I'm in this, the reason why I do astrology is because it's, I get results from it. I don't get results from, you know, just, just ordinary anything really. Um, and I, like, no, we, we need, we like I think when you're in astrology you feel like you need it and I, I do and like you said in one of your videos it's a religion like oh no it's it. it is my belief well here's the thing if there ever comes a day where people are knocking on doors saying like you know the, like the church did back in Europe of are you a pagan or are you Christian like I'm gonna tell people I believe in astrology you could do whatever that like because this is proven more to me every day every day I think that's the craziest part about being an astrologer I see this shit every day like you can put a bullet to my head. I don't care like that. I believe in this shit, like straight up. And a lot of people I, are afraid to believe in it. I, I really think are afraid to, and, and that's okay. This is scary shit in my opinion. Like it's truly terrifying that like you can kind of predict the future, but also it's 2022. And I can also know all of the information of the world in five seconds and see man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. So I guess the whole more, world's fucked in every perspective. There are more scarier <laughs> things than knowing the future, I think. And, <laughs> but, yes. but, but I like that you, yeah, all of those different um, communities, I like that idea that, you know, it's reaching more people. But all of the ones you mentioned, I also feel they could very easily be put into that camp of, um, they are. they're not, not the mainstream. So are yeah. you saying the strength would be like in numbers, in like helping each other well, out? Well, well, I think, well, well I, again... We have learned with this, this, what's so important about the Saturn Aquarius transit is this is giving us the sneak preview of the Pluto and Aquarius transit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to like, I don't know, think that far ahead, but that's what's going to happen. And it's going to slowly and slowly being this, you know, part of the system, part not of the system, inside the walls, outside the walls type thing in a lot of different ways, right? Pluto's going to be in Aquarius for a long time. So it's going to be much bigger than just this conversation. But those, I, well, I, number one, there's two things. Um, with these, uh, it's 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 
I, I guess you're right. The, the numbers thing, because for example, um, a lot of the diet stuff, and I mentioned this in my video is like, uh, it goes against like what I do goes against USDA guidelines, which USD guidelines are also meant for farmers, not for human beings, by the way, people don't know that. Um, but it's, uh, what I do goes against that. And so these are doctors who, you know, I mean, like these are real life, uh, like doctors seeing patients, seeing all these, you know, great changes and transformations. And it's going to slowly and slowly start becoming mainstream because, well, here's the thing, like, especially with this diet stuff. And this is how I see with astrology. There are too many sick and dying people on this earth right now for this to continue. People are going to start like the reason why I got into this diet stuff was I was I was like pretty much uh, insulin resistant, was gaining type two diabetes, um, couldn't think, couldn't do anything. And I was forced because I had no other choice to learn this shit. Um, and I think that's what, that's, what's getting people into astrology right now. Like, did, why did so many people, do you know, half of my clients got into astrology because of the pandemic. And what was weird is half of them were like, you know, I was already into astrology, but then once the pandemic hit, I wanted to learn more about it. And so I think a lot of people got into astrology during the pandemic, because again, what the fuck was going on? Why did I just lose my job? Why is there, am I, am I going to die in this pandemic? I'm, you know, my husband just left me this, 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 that people are going to start asking questions and they're going to be forced to ask this stuff. You can't like the great thing about this lockdown that happened was people were forced to reckon with what the fuck they care about in this world. And those type of that type of questioning leads to things like religion and astrology. Right. So again, I think that it's going to slowly and slowly be more and more popular, but I think the mainstream is going to try to get rid of it. But I also think we're at this point where the mainstream, again, I think things like tarot, might not be as socially as accepted versus astrology because we're also living in the very brief time in history where we can calculate charts at a fucking instant. Like mm -hmm. if I could show it, if I could show any show, like just, just, we're just being able to calculate a birth chart in an instant, share it with millions of people across the world, share it. Like, again, a lot of people think astrology is not a science, but it's a science. Like it's the most scientific practice in my opinion, because what's it? It's a hypothesis, which also we have proven documentation that, astrology was a hypothesis and then it was uh, an actual test to see if that was true it wasn't like a oh they were doing it anyway so it comes with the hypothesis then it's test these tests have been uh across different cultures different countries different languages for millennia and now we're practicing in this way right this is a fucking science and i think with now that we have so much like again 20 years ago 30 years ago psychology astrology i could deny that but because again, people are just doing birth charts and we have the access to this data and this information so quickly. And, you know, thank God also too, for project hindsight, for uncovering all of these, you know, ancient texts that gave us all of these new tools to work with. Uh, I think we're in a renaissance of astrology. And I think at any point in history, we have right now an ability to say like, there's something here. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to lean on that. And I think we need to be like, this is fucking serious. This isn't like, oh, we need to like, let the media and the mainstream deny us. I think we need to be like, no, this is fucking for real. Like yeah. we have something here. Like this is not fucking bullshit in games. And now I can't always say that with tarot. And that's not to say like, I, I mean, I use tarot still in, in my day-to-day -day life, even though I'm like, I don't do it that much. I still like use tarot. I, I don't necessarily see that same path for tarot. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe other, I haven't thought about it as much, but I think with astrology, like we've got, the the data the tools the research like we just need to actually organize ourselves and well i shouldn't say that we have organizations and the leadership needs to step up um and uh, do more than just be an organization that takes people's donations and then do nothing I, and i want to get to that but what one more because i i like i just want to go back to your health thing because i i was i think about this a lot and i'm definitely like a lot of my interests lie in the sort of like wellness community um I learned the other day that this this TEDx talk wasn't that was basically you know going on about like an all meat diet that wasn't like published on their YouTube page whereas you'll see loads of um, videos about veganism on their page that's 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 crazy no, to me in this age. it's it's but yes like, it the is the thing that was making me think Ham was like you said the more people figure out that actually the mainstream thing or whatever is being fucking pushed at me isn't working, the more people will come figure out that astrology works, that um, a different, and I'm not saying the meat thing is going to work for everyone, but let, let's say that is the solution for an individual. They're going to figure that out. And the important thing is that we need numbers. So if you believe in this stuff, double down on it, like figure exactly. out what you believe. And exactly. It's, it's basically that. And I don't mean let's all become like uh you know i'm not i'm not in the 
game of like convincing anyone like my family aren't into astrology or anything like that. Does it, that it, it doesn't, it, 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 I, I'll tell you, I'll put it to you this way. My mom is a devout um, evangelical, evangelical Christian in the sense where she is a God fearing woman. <laughs> and I have brought, we're both, so I'm a 29 Sag rising and she's a 28 Sag rising. And when I went over the list of commonalities that we had through our whole life, she stopped talking. Like I, it doesn't, astrology doesn't need explaining. Doesn't need You don't need to prove it to anybody. Live your, live your life. Do the thing. Like, again, like I, like, for example, I, I have a buddy of mine who, when we were, when we first started being friends, like five years ago, and I was into astrology, he thought I was fucking whack. Right. Like, okay, whatever. But now this fool trades Bitcoin with this fucking shit. And he's making a ton of fucking money off of it. I got people that are doing astrology that, that literally used to think I was full of shit. And now they're believing in this and practicing this stuff. It's like the results speak for themselves. I remember I, everyone thought I was crazy for saying when I was in 2019, I was like, 2020 is going to be bad guys. It's going to be a bad year. Everyone thought I was crazy. And then, you know, when I say, Hey, remember when you all thought I was fucking crazy, they don't say a fucking thing. And again, it's, it's people notice stuff. Well, again, this is why like with this diet stuff, what I, something I love about, you know, and again, I, I don't want to trigger anyone's like diet or whatever, but something I love about hearing the carnivore doctors versus the vegan doctors is every carnivore doctor literally looks like 20 years younger, their yeah, age and like, has like, like glowing skin. <laughs> they're beautiful. And all the vegan, there's this like vegan guy I see on YouTube that tries to dispel everything. And he's got like all this acne and this oily hair. And I'm just like, this is a point where we could like judge those type of things. But anyway, um, it's just one of those things I think more and more people because the mainstream is getting contracting more and more, you know, uh, it's the same thing with a lot of like the left stuff. Like I'm, I'm a very progressive person. I would still view myself as very liberal, but a lot of the left stuff is self cannibalization. And so at the end, there's going to be nothing. Right. And I, I try to bring this up to people. I talked about this, whoops, on the cosmic keys podcast with Dan and SJ of, um, people are like, I, cause I've had people come to me like, Oh my gosh, like, am I going to be able to fly again? Uh, uh, this vaccine passport, what's going on? And I, I'm on the camp of like, the height of drinking alcohol in America was during prohibition. Like you are going to see countercultures rise up in big ways. And if there's something that, and this is what I love about, you know, also like not only this country, but I think astrology too, is like, we need to accept and embrace that counterculture idea. Like, yes, unfortunately there are going to be, you know, propagators of bullshit. You know, there's going to, we're going to have our, you know, people that spew bullshit in this community, but like, rather than trying to say like, oh, we're not them, we're not them. Like, no, we are. And we need to embrace that and we need to solidify who the fuck we are as astrologers and like protect this shit. Because I think if we're looking for the mainstream narrative to protect us, it's not going to be there. You I, know what I mean? They've given, they've given us zero proof that that's, that that's a, a, a that that's going to happen. I agree. And I think the trick, one of the tricks will be defining ourselves less about less in what we're against and more in what we're for. So this thing about yes. like figuring out what do you believe? What do you stand for? What's worked for you? And stay true to that. I mean, I know that, that those are just words, but let's get into the practical. So I wanted to ask you, Cam, about like other platforms, things like Odyssey, Rumble, these other like video uploading. Cause I know we're mostly YouTube people, at least that's what I'm doing now. And well, so, well, so uh, and this has been stuff that as a business owner, I'm, I'm implementing. So pretty much what I'm telling people right now is like, I'm doing this. I think this is the future of business in astrology is there's, well, there's, there's, when it comes to content in general, no one's going to run and we read tweets anymore in like two or three years, unless Donald Trump goes back on Twitter, then that might be a little bit different Then there might be no hope and everyone might be addicted to Twitter forever. But um, I think people are going to get really sick of hearing people's short opinions. And I think there's going to be two forms of content in the future. And that's short, uh, short term uh, vertical content and long form horizontal content. And I think the safety, uh, the the safest form, safest form of content is video. And I've been promoting this for years. I've bullied everyone into getting into a YouTube. Like if, if people that know me in real life, I've been like, Get, start a fucking YouTube channel. Um, a lot of people think that this is translating to YouTube. Not yet, right? Maybe YouTube won't do anything. Um, I'm still putting my my chips are still in YouTube, but uh, a few things that I'm doing is, for example, I'm backing up my stuff on Odyssey. That's something I just started last night. Um, meaning I'm not gonna like only go to Odyssey. All my stuff will be on YouTube, but if YouTube ever deletes my stuff or whatever, it's all backed up there, right? And it's got that DeFi thing, so there's a safety net. Well, also too, just in general, more astrologers and tarot people need to need to learn this shit. Like, if you don't know SEO, if you're not knowing like how this, like, you need to pick up pick up the pace here a little bit and start figuring things out yourself. 
Um, but I plan on doing, uh, putting everything to my website, um, focusing on my website and then doing an RSS feed to where, for example, on Odyssey, my stuff's not going to get deleted. So then I can link an RSS feed to my website. And then all of my videos will come up on my website where it all generates funnels to my website, right? I'm not generating things for everybody else, but I know that my videos aren't going to get deleted immediately off. And I think something that I'm going to start doing is focusing on video content keeping it on my uh, uh, website, but then just push it like, uh, well, for example, there's this one um, social media I'm looking at right now. I have opened an account, but I, I'm very hesitant to start anything simply because I don't like the owner of it. Um, cause I, well, cause like, here's the thing. People are like, get on rumble. You go on rumble and it's the first thing is something about fucking Hillary Clinton and you know, like communism. And I don't want to deal like, Hey, it just, it's, it, we don't need to deal with this political shit. Um, but there's this website called uh, Locals and it's ran by Dave Rubin, who is a, I hate Dave Rubin. Um, I hate, I hate him so much, the Rubin but this report? app, that, that the thing? Rubin report. Yes. Yeah. The Rubin report. Um, he started this app and I, and I've been looking at this app. It is really good. Like it's very promising as far as, cause you can post free content and paid for content. It's like Patreon, but also free. And then also you could post videos and it self hosts, right? Cause on Patreon, you have to link your YouTube video, not here. Um, or a Vimeo thing. Like they do all of their self hosting. So it's right now it's got a lot of like right wing people on it. So I'm not really like all that amped or excited about it, but I think right now it's all about exploring other, other options. For example, in my video, I talked about email. I think email is the future too. I think email will be a big part of this. Um, but honestly though, my, uh, I I'm trying to fucking start an app too, but it's also impossible to fucking get developers, uh, nowadays. Um, I, I personally think this is something that we will see come up. We will see the opportunity change, right? For example, um, you know, Twitter wasn't always there. And then when Twitter got popular, a lot of people were able to grow from that and things change. And I think there'll be another platform or something like that. But I also think we shouldn't be relying on social media all that much. And I think we should be relying on more, I, I don't know, di diversifying in ways that you can, whether that's putting things on your own website, having your own email, doing a book, do something that's physical, do a real life thing that not just all, I mean, don't get me wrong, do your digital content. Cause I also think there's a future for that too. But if you are going to do digital content, you gotta, you, you know, you gotta be on top of the safety and the regulation stuff, because that's, I think that's the hardest part about being a content creator right now is everything's changing every, every day. It doesn't matter if you're an astrologer, it doesn't matter if you're this or that, that like, we're not the only content creators that are questioning what's the best platform for us right now. That's most content creators. And so I just think in the, we'll, we will have a solution here in the future, not from too long. Cause again, astrology is popular. Like if people, uh, something I noticed is on the video I posted, a lot of people were like, this is why I use social media. Like I don't use social media. To keep up with I use it to like check my fucking horoscope. And so they're like, I'll just delete it. I'm like, wow, that's actually kind of I didn't, I didn't put that together. Like, that's actually kind of crazy because I almost do it for the same way. Like, I don't really give a fuck about a lot of things except for like my specific niches, right? But um, yeah, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, I think it's a mixed bag of owning your content, right? Building on your, uh, Cassandra Tyndall, you know, she said this many times that you can't build an empire on rented land. And I think yes, it's a big- Yeah, so one of the first things you learn in like online business is basically the only things you own are your website and your email list. So- um. I might do a video on my site about how to hook a email list up with your website, but it's, it's important stuff. Um, and, and social media was never safe and now we're seeing it kind of crumble that land. Yeah. Is and well, and I think again, it's all of social media that's crumbling, right? It's not just this astrology mm -hmm. stuff, but I also think though, like we're going to be targeted out of all of it. We're going to get, mm -hmm. you know, and, and also too, everything was so built up off social media, but at the same time, I think also because of the lockdowns, trying to do in-person stuff while building from it. Because I remember Norwac 2019 was like super big. It had been like, you know, astrology is blown up online. A, a bunch of people met a bunch of people, but then astrology blew up in 2020 and there was no in-person thing about that. And so people have only had this online experience of astrology. Like they don't know real people do this shit in real life. You know what I mean? Yes, it's very weird. And I've got some like older astrology friends who have never done the online thing and they were forced to do it during the pandemic but they mm -hmm. built their businesses. And here's the thing that is sort of reassuring to me. They built their businesses completely offline, like 30, 40 years ago. It's, it's, the, it's not all lost. So for, for other astrologers, content creators who are like, oh my God, like my whole life is, you know, in this little box, which sometimes I feel is true. 
um, just know that we still live in the real world currently. And yeah, we can go to events, meet other astrologers and meet other individuals. I, I, again, it's it's hard for me to imagine. I can't imagine doing an in-person reading even with anyone, but like it has oh, been done. I, I, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not doing in person. Like <laughs> Zoom readings are way too, uh, way too luxurious. Um, well, but this is the, also the thing is like, this is why we need to build up this in-person community stuff. And that's why I said my video, like a lot of people, like I've had a lot of people message me like, Cameron, you should do like an astrology meetup here in Vegas or one in Denver. And it's just like, why do I gotta be the one that does everything? Like, can't y'all, like if y'all want something, go and do it. Like, I know so many people like, Again, this is just such a popular practice nowadays. We need the in-person thing. And, uh, and you know, maybe that doesn't always look like in-person readings or again, well, I think social media is still going to exist. For example, long form video content is not going anywhere. If the past 100 years of cinema has taught us anything, long form video, and this is why I've been telling everyone, long form video content, long form video content, put out video content. Like that's that's what's staying around. And also too, I think it helps you better. Like I, it's easier to write about astrology than it is to, speak it like into a microphone by yourself um and uh, i think that if you want to like well the other thing too with a lot of this is because of the way social media is designed and this is something i've seen a lot more of astrologers have become more about brands than they have been about like astrology and i think during this time a lot of people are going to reckon with like their business model being more focused on like how things look and how things operate with the algorithm versus like what is the actual astrology going into it? What are people get, getting and receiving? Mm -hmm. um, so I guess the, the big thing here is this is a small little, again, step in my opinion, the wrong direction, but I think this was a reckoning for, for this community that needed to happen anyway. Like we've all been really into this social media shit and we've all been really comfortable with it. And because social media, I mean, like no one's going after this pandemic and after these lockdowns, no one's going to want to be on this stuff. Like, yes, it's still going to persist. Yes, there's still going to be options, but like no one wants to go on Instagram anymore. No one wants to go on Facebook anymore. No one like I don't even like everyone. I, I, I when I left Twitter, I started asking people like, hey, what am I missing? And people are like, I don't know. I left Twitter, too. Like, so I'm like, oh, OK, I guess we're all gone. Um, I, And so I think this need to commune and I, especially with fellowship too, like bringing ourselves together remembering like why we fucking do this practice. Um, and again, like not attacking other people. And I think through this kind of communion, we can figure out uh, different ideas, right? Like there's, there's so many avenues, right? Like I, I, there's, and there's so many smarter people than like that are out. There's so many smart, smart people out there that could figure out way better creative solutions than I ever could, or, or, you know, any of us could ever could. Like, it's just all about who's going to actually, you know, do and something. I, Cause what's, sorry, go on. No, I was like, cause it just seems like, Again, everyone wants to do astrology, but no one wants to add in their other gifts and talents to this work, which frustrates me. So I'm like, yes, like be an astrologer, do that. But like, fuck, we need like more people doing more things. Like we have this fucking army of people, it seems like. Like so many people are into astrology and like normal everyday people um, and people that want to pursue this for a, a line of work. I think there's more opportunities to do different things with astrology now more than ever. But it takes that creativity and it takes that whole like, you got to like, you know, believe this shit like you know i like i did youtube for two or three years without it ever being successful and i fucking believe that shit anyway and i think a lot of people are like again i think it's hard to really believe in astrology and i don't blame people you know especially the people that are just kind of like hobbyists or enthusiasts of it but it's one of those things where i think is we slowly and slowly start seeing more and more uh, problems with uh, our us believing is we have to be more and more um defensive about it i think we have to be much more protective about it I think one thing that will really help in those kind of creative solutions is the in-life, in-person meetups. And I'm somebody who, like, I'm way more comfortable behind the screen. Um, I was quite comfortable in the pandemic. In fact, it's gotten to the point now where I'm like, I need to really push myself to go to events. So if there are other people out there who are like, hang on, like astrology events, the meetups that used to run in my local community have stopped. They haven't come back. I feel less comfortable in going out. That's something that we need to like push each other to do. And you said, you know, you, you will start another meetup. I'm going to start. And I literally started a meetup January, 2020. And, you know, it was shut in March, went online. It's okay. We, I, I think a lot of us <laughs> tried to start things in January, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but basically it's, it is so much easier when you're in a room with people or there are a few of you sat around a table in real life to start coming up with ideas and solutions. And like you said, that army of people who all bring different skills. Um, I have hope for us as a community, but I do think one of the ways that will, st will strengthen that is, is getting together 
um, be less divisive as well. Um, and like you said, sorry, I wanted to get back to the the existing community. So um, these larger astrology organizations, it does feel like they've gone kind of quiet. Like even my local astrology big meetup group has just- Yeah, you have a big one. The, it's like the Astrological Society of like Great that, Britain or some shit like that, right? There, there, there's that. And there's also like my, like there's like the London one, which is big and old and everything and crusty and everything, but basically the Brighton like one- Like all of them? Yeah. <laughs> well, the Brighton one was was great, but now they're only doing online events really. And that to me is a great shame. It's a great loss because it's easier, of course. Like it's easier for the event organizer organizers but i just want to encourage people to do real person things and myself but yeah I, I have a lot of i don't know um i have a lot of opinions about the orgs um one this is my own personal beef i was talking to another astrologer about this and this isn't necessarily the org's fault but it just makes me think about wow it would have been nice. It would be like, this is what it looks like to have an organization, organization that cares now. I don't remember what org this was, but this was back in the nineties. One of the astrology organizations was trying to fight to get health insurance for astrologers. And I was like, what? Like, uh, because well, and apparently the reason why it never went through is because the health insurance thing put us as like circus performers. So it was like, like a really high liability, which like, oh yeah, go, go fucking figure. Um, so, right so that so that didn't work so i can't blame the orgs for that but i go i don't have health insurance right now like i've yeah and i know pretty much every astrologer like that's around my like i can't imagine that we're all doing i mean this is america so you know health so it's like why aren't we trying this i don't know now like i could use that now well it's the same thing with um uh, it's um you know, I thought it was kind of ridiculous that they still did Norwak and Isar separately. It's like, this is the perfect time to do a, a, a UAC, like bring us all together. But they're like, no, we got to do it separately. And no, we're not going to actually reach out or do anything new. No, we're not going to, you know, update our websites or like, I, I mean, I went to the NCGR, like I, the NCGR meetup here in Vegas is so funny. It's literally like me and like three old women. It's like no, in this like room. So on the, it's, when you think about... The community online versus in person it's it's bizarre i know it's 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 night and day well it's the same thing at the denver astrology meetup when i was still doing it back in 2019 um a lot of it was mostly older women and there were starting to be more younger people coming in um but the thing is well this is what's been really like stark is the the generational difference like i was talking to uh, chris brennan a while back about this of you know, he was like, they were saying that back in the 90s, a lot of astrologers were afraid that astrology was going to die because there was no young people coming into it. And so there's this huge generational gap where, again, they all got into it through the social media and it needs to get yeah. translated into the the in-person stuff. But again, these I just feel like these orgs, like I feel bad for tarot. I don't know if tarot has any organizations. Like I kind of, I, I, I doubt they do. Um, but we actually have like a handful of orgs and I just don't see like, especially like Aya right now, Aya was doing dinner and drinks and stuff. And it's just like, I have seen or heard nothing from them. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not caught up in the loop, but I just feel like there's got to be something more that these orgs can do. Again, people need to fucking step. Like what's frustrating is they've been taking money for all these years and, mm -hmm. you know, it's all this bureaucratic bullshit back and forth. And it's like, okay, how about someone do something for once? Cause like, well, why aren't they, why aren't they messaging Instagram? Why aren't they combining together and do this? Like, I don't understand why we have these orgs if they legitimate, like name one thing they've done. I know ISAR is going to go on. I mean, I feel a little bit bad for them. Well, also, I don't feel I don't feel bad for ISAR because they scheduled the original ISAR meet uh, event in Denver the day of the Mars retrograde in Aries, and I mm. thought that was stupid back in 2019. I was like, <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, that's not going to be a good thing. But uh, well, it's just one of those things. I think if you're going to be putting a conference together, you should use the astrology. But um, it's uh, it's just I feel like the orgs the the. It's, I don't know, I'm, I'm so over the boomers in this community and, you know, like I'm, I'm just, a lot of the people that are in positions of power right now and, and, and doing that stuff, they're not, I don't know, really helping. And I also don't, but I also feel like the people that could step up aren't stepping up. Like I'm trying to, um, as much as I can, but you know, wh wh there's it's, so many people in astrology now, where, where is everybody else? It is really interesting. And maybe this is a positive thing that could come out of this, uh, this whole like, the, the mainstream kind of mess that that we're experiencing that astrology is going to be experiencing I, I believe over the coming years maybe an upside could be a kind of regeneration something that does I guess help us get off our asses and that's including me like I'm new to this world but I, I still feel like um yeah there are a lot of skills that could be brought to it if we can um get together and have these conversations and make it happen <laughs> 
Well, and what's important is this, is this conversation. Like the whole reason I did this whole video is like, like no one just gives a shit right now about any of the censorship sh- censorship stuff when it comes to astrology. And it's like, we're, we're next. Like just wait. Naive. It's incredible. And it, like, it's incredible. Well, it's, it's all, well, that's what's super frustrating about people being like, oh, this is a good thing. This is not a big deal. And that this is alarmist misinformation. It's like, like what? Like, how is this not a big deal? How is this not like, again, why is astrology being branded together with politics and health? Why? Why? There is no fucking reason Meta should think, yes, along with politics and health, we should not let, again, who does this harm? Who does this help? How is this going to change how this industry works? Because something I, I didn't even realize how many people use targeted ads until I made this video. And everyone's like, I use targeted ads. And now what's frustrating too is a lot of, uh, you're hearing anecdotal stories from all over the place. I heard someone was like, my business is actually doing better because of this. But most people are also like, hey, my Instagram account is you know banned, deleted. And again, it, having this ad targeting thing a couple years ago, or even right now would be one thing if it wasn't for this Instagram scam stuff that's happening. It's like, we have, that's that's two strikes on like, and okay. I'd add a third, which are all these articles that at least I'm seeing um, that's putting astrology in the camp of weirdos, conspiracy theorists, people who are- And against- people, and people, they, they, people, the media wants to, everyone is filled with hate mm-hmm. and they're not allowed to hate anything until the media tells them to hate it. Mm-hmm. And so again, well, cause we're all actually all mad because you know, of economic conditions of actual injustices done, but the society tells us it's bad to be angry. It's bad to be mad, but you know, oh, but you're allowed to be mad at the QAnon people. You're allowed to be mad at the other side. And so people subconsciously rage out on these people. And again, like we're, we're right in that group where like people again, uh, coming for us, attacking us. That's only, I feel like going to be a thing that comes up more and more and more. So I don't know. I think a lot of this time is like, yeah, getting off the the social media stuff, finding other ways around it. Um, again, just being more connected in the community. And again, just stopping the whole divisiveness in this community. It's literally insane. Like I know like five straight up astrologers that make it their brand to attack people. And it's sad because, you know, people see that. Um, but it's also like what I get upset about is people are going to start associating astrologers with attackers and cancelers, which is like, that affects me and my and my reputation. So I'm going to call that out. And I think it's pathetic. I think it's weak. Um, and a lot of and again, a lot of these people are great people, but they're too weak and they're letting the algorithm decide how they feel and they're letting the algorithm decide what they're going to say. And that makes a statement and that has, you know, a wave effect. Like, uh, you know, it's amazing how many astrologers are so like. I feel like there's so many astrologers that are more worried about canceling other astrologers and attacking all this other stuff than it is like protecting like, and defending astrology. Exactly, because that's the next on the cancel list. So, um, I, I, well, again, the media needs people to hate. And once COVID's done, there's going to be an article about how the zodiac signs are wrong just on time and schedule, like NASA <laughs> does every year. And then it's going to turn into, yeah, astrology people are believing in fake, in fake science or misinformation. This is literally misinformation according to the definition. So like people who think like, oh, like I can't believe people are spreading misinformation. Like you practicing astrology is spreading misinformation. Like on that, if you're going to have that same, uh, that argument. So I think we need to get really clear and there needs to be this reckoning. And, and I'm very like, I think the people that are very pro censorship and pro against free speech, which I, I can't believe that there is, but there are probably, but there, but there is people, I think you are a, a, a going against the, the blossoming and the renaissance of astrology. And I think you're actively harming astrologers and, and this practice. And I think, and again, this isn't a joke, like people die for this shit. People have died for this stuff. So like, I take it very real. I take it very seriously. Like, I, like if you're not, if you're going to say, hey, we need to take away free speech, we need to do that. It's like, okay, you're, you're saying that I, you need to take away my, my, my religion. And I think like, again, it's, this is very real fucking life. And a lot of people just think that this is, it's just online. It's just social media. It's like, I know people that have died in real life from interactions online. Mm-hmm. Like real things happen in real, like people think that the online world is just online. It's not, it's 2022. Online's the real world now. Yes. Like, and there are real life consequences. Like, you know, especially to, for example, let's say all payment goes over the phone. And let's say you as an astrologer, you know, your payment processor doesn't go through. Like, what if you're like, again, like the, for example, WeChat uh, or, or uh, what's the other um, messenger that everyone uses that like uh, a what? lot of payments go through. Okay. The, I was going to say WhatsApp. I, I don't think you mean that. WhatsApp. Yeah. WhatsApp, not WeChat. Yeah. WhatsApp is one of the big ones that all the payments go through. And it's like, they could literally lock you out of your money of your income and your ability to buy things. Cause this is, I mean, I use my, that hap- that my iPhone to pay Stripe. for everything. Right. Stripe 
came up with some new rule, which really screwed around a lot of astrologers. So yeah, I, I, I just, well, I just got a stripe and I got frustrated because I had a, you know, a client cancel on me. Um, but they, they decided to, instead of just canceling the appointment, they, they, uh, uh, asked for this refund and it flagged my whole account. And so now it's going to be this whole litigation process of trying to prove and, you know, get on my hands and knees of like, please, oh my God, let me please keep this ability to do income. Because I know, you know, PayPal also costs a lot more. And I know PayPal is on slippery water too, because they're one of the, like the biggest banks in the world now. So it's just one of those things where again, too, it's, this is like, uh, I'm, I, I never wanted to be a Bitcoin guy, to be honest with you, but I have to start learning this shit now because I don't want, there's so much authority and control right now. And it's, again, it's just not, not safe for astrologers. I want to be like, there's part of me that goes, okay, maybe, you know, like, what if I'm wrong? Maybe the authoritarianism isn't that crazy. Maybe this stuff isn't all that bad. And maybe it is, but like, again, where does it lead to? And what's the next step? And it wasn't that long ago in history. Like I was, again, SJ Anderson shared me this news article. It was in 1898. Police officers were busting out astrology meetups in New York city. Don't even talk about Evangeline Adams who had to go on trial, you know, fuck yeah for her. Thank God for her. They're like the people that have actually fought for and protected our fucking rights. Um, but there's a lot of people in astrology right now that I'd much rather have that shit taken away. And I think it's, it's, it's getting to a point where it's like, all right, guys, we need to get really fucking real. Cause this is real life. And soon enough, it's going to start turning on us. If we don't, in my opinion, I think the solution is health and wellness double down on that. We believe the shit double down that it's real. And I, again, too, I think people, especially you said too, ways for astrology enthusiasts, mm. astrology enthusiasts need to speak the fuck up. Tell people you believe in this shit. Don't be a bitch. Like you believe in astrology. It's fucking real. And if people want to go against that, well, then that's the how that's going to fucking be. And I think the other thing is too, is just keeping up with this stuff, acknowledging that there, that astrology is on slippery ground in that in order to engage with this stuff more, it might be a little bit harder, but it's a two-way street. My job is to make it more accessible for everyone else, but your job is to gonna be also like that you find it and, and support your astrologers, right? Like, like whether that's liking a video or commenting or donating or buying or whatever, like support this stuff. And I think one of the best ways to support it is probably doing in-person stuff because when you have that sense of community, when you don't feel alone, like that frequency being raised on a group on a group level, on a collective level is, is really big. That's like real life stuff. Like, you know, people, I, 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 I'm not the biggest woo woo astrologer, but frequencies and vibration, that shit's fucking real. And when you're in a group of people like, and, and it's, and we can bring ourselves together, like that's just going to raise your confidence in believing this stuff. Like I never felt more confident about astrology and, and more also like at home than when at an astrology conference where I can nerd out with my other astrology people, right. Where it's like, you know, it, it, it it's, it's just fun. And so I think that's where astrology enthusiasts should really be is just keeping up with this stuff. And I think engaging more with it. And then again, being more open about astrology. Like this is, this is not taboo. This is not, you know, I understand crystals and tarot being weird. And again, now a part of this is the tarot conversation. Cause I also don't believe that tarot should be censored at all or anything like that. I think the tarot community needs to get their shit together. Like if you guys got some orgs, but that's their own shit to figure out. And that's a whole other, that's, I have no idea where to start with that one. But for the astrology people, it's it's. Uh, I think the org should step up. I think people should just be more open about it. I think also too, like we should double down. Like, I, I I'm doubling down because I I do this every day. I see two to three clients every day, and every day I, I astrology has proven insanely accurate to me. I mean, like it's not even. It's again, it would be no question if one day if it got really crazy and people were knocking on doors saying you got to drop your belief in astrology, be like, man, do whatever you got to do because like it's. I'm not going to go back on, on any, it's too real for me. I believe in this. Shit. And I think also too, again, I don't, uh, if people are hesitant to kind of like believe in it, that's, that's fine. But you know, it's, it's okay to believe in astrology. It's okay for this to, for, for you to realize that this is real and actually happening. And realize that it can be maybe not taken away, but your access to it can be uh, reduced. So like Cam says, you know, support your local astrologer, like, subscribe to newsletters um check out other platforms like i i literally searched for um astrology on odyssey earlier and it was it was sad so i think we need more astrologers i did like, too the- i did too well like i was kind of blown away because i know some astrologers on odyssey so i don't know if it's odyssey's algorithm or what it is but yeah flooding just flooding everything else with it i think is the is the uh, is the good thing right now yeah and, and yeah go go to local meetups if they exist and if they don't let's make our own so um yeah cam thank you for your time i'm really glad we had this conversation and um i think we need to keep having this conversation on a wider scale um and do some things
about it. Of course. Yeah. I, 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 I love talking about this shit because no one else, I just, again, no one else seems to be, and this is a really important conversation. So I'm, thank you for having me on to talk about it. Thanks. And yeah, hopefully we will be speaking in real life later this year. Uh, yeah. Come to ISAR. Again, if you're listening to this, come to ISAR. It's in Denver. It's in August. I'm going to be there. Um, it's a big astrology conference. Um, just come. Yeah. All right, Cam. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, take care. You too. Thanks.